What's happening, guys? I'm Ronnie. I'm Teresa. And we are the Traveling Gilberts. Yes, we are. And this is cruise tips for first-time cruisers. Or old-time cruisers. Maybe old-time <laughs> cruisers, too. Maybe there's a little something that we say that... Uh, or you can even say, leave in the comment and say, hey, you didn't say this. That would be great, too. Help yeah, us out. absolutely. Because we would love to cruise more efficiently, too. We don't know every little thing. But we do know a few things. Okay. The real cost of your cruise. As you know from the thumbnail, the real cost of a cruise. What is a cruise going to cost me? Mm -hmm. So you see this deal online. You're like, oh my gosh, it's $1,100. It's me and my husband both get to go for that. Yeah. Oh, I can afford $1,100. I'm going to book this in 2024. I don't have to finish paying for it yep. until, you know, the end of 2024. I'm putting the thing on layaway. I can $1,100, honey. Yeah, that's $1,100. Ooh, wait a second there, Slick. You got port fees, you got taxes, mm. you got prepaid gratuities, mm. you have drink packages, you have on on the ship dining, you know, the extra cost dining. You have the ports. You want to go and shop at the ports. Yeah. You know, you want all these different things. So it can uh, cha-ching, cha-ching up really, really quick. Yeah. You got to use your head. What's important to you? What can I afford? What am I just throwing money at? So you find an $1,100 cruise. Realistically, it's going to cost you about $1,700 um, with your port fees, taxes, and prepaid gratuities, yep. um, which you definitely want to do that. Right. <laughs> you yes. definitely want to do that. Um, so just kind of be expecting that. Yep. Yeah, it's still a great deal. I mean, you're not going to go most other places for seven to eight days for, you know, that no, amount of money. No, not in a hotel and eat and all these different um, things. But you got to understand, though, you got Ubers, you got plane flights, what we were talking about earlier. You got flights, you got car, you got gas, you got parking. You got all these different things that, that can, you know, add up really, really quick if you're not thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. um, you can... Realistically, well, for like this many people, go on a cruise after you've paid it and not spend another dime. You Actually, can. used to go with the girls, and there was one of the girls that would go with us, and she would not spend anything. There's nothing wrong. However, with however, you still have to put money down or put a credit card down or whatever and they're going to hold what is it two hundred dollars right off the bat um, right off the bat so you if you're going to bring cash you need to go put two hundred dollars in with guest services mm -hmm. as soon as you get there um if you don't use it yes you get your money back yep. but they're going to want that money up front so just fyi be prepared for that even right. if you're like i'm not eating at any specialty dining i'm not booking any excursions this mm -hmm. is all i'm going to spend yep Good for you. I'm not buying a bingo card. I'm not buying no extra ice cream I'm not going to the from casino. the Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> I'm not getting no cherry on top. I'm not doing any of that. Nope. No steakhouse for me. Nope. None you can do it. You, you can, do, can it. do it. And you can I have can a great do time. It. You can have a great time. I mean, you really could. You got plenty of food to eat. You know, you got the main dining room. You got the buffet. You got uh, on Carnival, you have guys and, and blue iguana. You have all these places that are free to eat. And then, uh, of course, you get tea, lemonade, water. water. And I think some coffee maybe in the mornings, not the specialty coffee, right, but I right. think you get like regular coffee. Right. So, yeah, the real cost. Uh, but it's not, you don't get bottled water for free. Not Let's bottled. clarify that. Yes. It's just the water from the machine in the dining hall right. where you have the glasses that are like this big. So you might want to bring something like this yeah. yourself so that way you can keep it full or right. a bottle or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and the tipping, you know, a lot of time extra tipping, you know, porters that are handling your bags and all these different kinds mm -hmm. of things. Those are things that you don't want to skimp on because that's what is the livelihood of some of these people. So uh, what do you tip, babe? Well, I tip maybe five, ten dollars to score on how much work they had to do and how far they had to go with. Mm. It. I'm a frugal tipper, guys. I'm going to be honest. I know I'm going to get it slammed in the doggone comments, but. You know, a tip is a, is a gratuity. It is a extra thing for... A, some of them, that's a livelihood, though. And I'm going to tell you, it's a touching story, but I'm going to tell you, we were on a royal ship, and there was a, a certain bag that I needed. We were on the ship pretty early, and uh, we hadn't received all our bags, but my camera equipment, I had put it in uh, one of my backpacks. And I told the guy, I said, man, I really need that bag, you know, if you could hunt it down. And... Uh, 
No, 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 he, no, 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 no,